cruelty behind closed doors, the tragic life of Delphine Lalari. In the city of New Orleans many years ago, there was a woman named Delphine. She was born in 1787 into a rich family and grew up in a fancy part of town. She learned all the fancy ways of the important people there when she was just 13. She got married for the first time, her husband, Don Ramon de Lopez y Angulo, was a soldier from Spain, but this marriage didn't last long because her husband died suddenly. After this, when Delphine was 21, she got married again in 1808, this time. She married Jean Blanc, who was a big banker and merchant. They had a happy life and even had four children together, but, sadly, Jean Blanc died in 1816, and Delphine became a widow for the second time, in 1825. Delphine married for the third time, this time. She married Dr. Louis Lalari, who was a doctor and a soldier. They moved into a big and beautiful house in New Orleans. It seemed like a perfect life, however. Something very dark was happening in that house, behind the fancy walls of the Lalari house. A terrible story was taking place. Delphine and her husband had many slaves who worked for them. Unfortunately, these slaves suffered terribly because of Delphine's cruelty. People in the city started hearing rumors about how she was treating her slaves. But because she was rich and important, no one did anything to stop her. Everything changed on a day in 1830 for when a fire broke out in the Lalari house. People came to put out the fire and save anyone inside. What they found in the attic was like a horrible nightmare. Several enslaved people were hurt very badly, and it was clear that they had been tortured for a long time. This was a terrible scene. The news of this shocking discovery spread through the city, and people were very angry. They got very upset and destroyed a lot of the Lalari house. Delphine and her family had to run away to escape the people's anger. The things Delphine did to her slaves were truly terrible. She hurt them very badly and did horrible things to them. We don't know exactly why she did these things. But some people think she did it because she liked to see others suffer after they ran away. We don't know for sure what happened to Delphine and her family. Some people say they lived in. France until she died in 1849, but we can't be sure. Her story is still very famous and very sad because it reminds us how people can be very cruel when they have power and how important it is to treat others with kindness. Later in life, when she was in Paris with her family, Delphine thought about going back to New Orleans, but her family didn't like this idea, so she decided not to go back. We don't know exactly why she left New Orleans in the first place. When it comes to her death, different stories have been told. One story says she died in a hunting accident in France, but we don't have proof of that. In a cemetery, they found an old plate that says she died in 1842 in Paris. But French records say she died on December 7, 1849, when she was 62 years old. We can't say for sure how she really died. Delphine's life began with privilege and ended with terrible cruelty. Her name is now linked with unkindness and meanness. And we remember her story as a lesson about how people can do very bad things when they have power.